Hey everyone, State Representative Maurice West. I hope you and the family are doing well. I wanted to come with the last Come With Me to Springfield segment of 2021. We finally ended our uh, session for 2021 and I wanted to catch up and uh, keep you posted on what has happened these past couple months. First, we passed historic legislation when it comes to energy, clean energy. Um, we were able to pass a bipartisan energy bill that saved the Byron nuclear power plant. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, because, uh, not just because we saved the nuclear power plant, but we also set significant goals to combat climate change and create thousands of high paying clean energy jobs while ensuring equitable access for all of our communities. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about the Healthcare Rights of Conscience Act, Senate Bill 1169. There are a couple, there are three things I really want to bring to your attention, the facts around this bill to why I supported this bill um, so that uh, it could dispel any misinformation that may be out there. First one I wanted to bring up is that this amendment to the Health Care Rights of Conscious Act. Um, this amendment clarifies the General Assembly's original intent of this legislation. It's a small and technical clarification of that intent um, that doctors and providers not be forced to perform, perform services against their beliefs that the law should not be misconstrued to allow people to evade public health responsibility so it doesn't take away the initial clarification of the law whatsoever it just amends it so that we can't misconstrue it when it comes to uh, public health responsibility number two this amendment preserves constitutional rights while ensuring we can protect lives and public health. Constitutional protections are not affected by this bill. Once again, constitutional protections are not affected by this bill. This bill is about making sure we keep people safe, especially in high risk environments like hospitals, nursing homes, veteran homes, and schools. Last and very important to me, is that religious and medical exemptions are preserved. People with religious objections or medical exemptions would not be affected since those protections are federal law, not state. Avenues remain for people who have exemptions protected by federal or state law. Next, I wanna to talk to you about House Bill 370, uh, the repeal of parental notifications. As many of you know, I have a daughter. She's one years old, um, and she is the love of my life. I never experienced such deep love until I had my baby girl. I never, I noticed within myself how patient I am. I just noticed how a better man I became by becoming a father for the first time with a baby girl. And so saying that, I had myself Pause, had to pause with this legislation because I wanted to be notified myself. But I quickly realized that this bill is not for my baby girl. This bill is not for your baby girl, especially when you are a great parent, like many of you are. This bill is for the baby girl who does not have that support system at home. This bill is for that baby girl for our baby girls who are violated by people within their home, who feel unsafe because of the people that are in their home, for the family members in their home. This bill is to save and help them. And so one thing I wanna share with you is that many of those baby girls are often abused mentally, emotionally, physically, or sexually. This bill is for them. And so I voted for this because it kept those baby girls safe. Again, my baby girl will not have to worry about this law because I am going to be a great father, just like many of you, I'm gonna be a great parent. But there are baby girls out there who do not have that same support. 
this bills for them. Next, I want to talk to you about the historic electric vehicle bill um, that I was able to support my colleagues, Representative Dave Vela, Senator Steve Stallman, especially when it comes to the Stellantis uh, facility, the Chrysler, Belvedere Chrysler plant. The reason why I'm excited about this bill is that Stellantis is in the process of determining sites for manufacturing electric vehicles. And so this particular bill would include tax credits and job training for automakers and supply chain businesses that come to Illinois, more so in particular, the Northern Illinois region. More than 4,500 workers are employed at Stellantis. And we here in the state of Illinois, we rank ninth in the nation for auto production. This, this bill could keep and create thousands of jobs for the Northern Illinois region. That really, really excites me. Lastly, while I was in Springfield, uh, I was able to send a letter back in October concerning this, the Belbo Prairie. I, was, I had concern when the public hearing was canceled and I really am happy that um, the airport decided to hold off on any on the pro progression of their construction and I'm hoping that during this time period they'll be listening to the advocates of Belbo Prairie. Once, as always, if you have any questions, please reach out assistance at staterepwest.com or 815-987-7433. Hope all is well with you and yours. Talk soon.